Op art is a style of art that developed in the 1960s, and it gets its name from optical. The artists were playing with the ideas of what happens inside your eye as you look at a piece of work. There's generally not going to be a subject with these pieces. You're not going to see rabbits or houses or landscapes, so they're not going to have a subject, but that doesn't mean that they're abstract expressionism. Op art, again, is very design-based. It's usually fairly simple, though some can be very complex as well. Um, they play with this idea of colors contrasting. Victor Vassarly's piece called Exposition certainly does that. He takes a two-dimensional plane and makes you think it has three dimensions in it, as well as Bridget Riley's piece called Hesitate. These are only circles that are repeating themselves and changing their size, but we get this illusion of space happening. It's an optical illusion because it is just a two-dimensional plane, but she's making it look three-dimensional. It's very simple in the way that they're approaching it. It's not super duper complex, but it is super precise. We might see them play around with these ideas of warm and cool colors or contrasting blacks and whites. In these um, pillars by Joseph Albers, we see him playing with this repetition of color to get the rods and cones in your eyes to kind of react differently to them. We feel something innately when we look at a piece of work like this. When it's large and filling your frame of vision, you're having some sort of reaction to the work, and that's what they found interesting. It wasn't so much how beautiful or pristine the work was, it was what the work did to us. This optical illusion they wanted us to feel. And op art could even be done in three dimensions. So we have Red Sphere by Julio Le Parc, and these are pieces of plastic that are strung from the ceiling in a cluster that makes an almost perfect sphere. Light pours in from the center, and it's disrupted by these turning panels. And we get this wonderful illusion, this sense of space that's coming off, and even the reflections are an important part of the work. So op art is playing with the ideas of optics to give us some sort of a feeling or affect us as we look at the work. And it doesn't have a subject, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's abstract expressionism.